Hey guys, Christopher Bob Roberts here from ChristopherBobRoberts.com and the Extreme Measures Institute. And uh, this week's self-defense street fighting blog post, we're going to discuss a question that I uh, get asked a lot: is how long it takes to be able to defend yourself or to, to to get good at fighting. And the answer is actually different from what a lot of people think. I'm a big proponent of the fact that combat sports and uh, martial arts that are based upon rules and tradition are some of the worst things you want to learn if you're going to defend yourself on the street. Because on the street there are things like aggressiveness, surprise, the uh, brutal illegal techniques, non-traditional techniques that are used that are much more effective than uh, somebody who could fight under controlled conditions. You need to train for a long time to get good at a sport or an art. But that has nothing to do with a street fight. So you could learn a street, uh, street fighting type of self-defense in a very short time, weekend seminar or from a video. One of the things that I keep saying is if you cannot learn a technique in a couple of days and actually be able to use it for the rest of your life or cannot learn a technique from a video because it's too complicated, you need a master watching you to correct your technique, then it's also too complicated to use on the streets. Now, I've got a wonderful example of how quickly you can learn self-defense that is based upon street fighting. And the thing is, last weekend, I was with one of my assistant instructors, and we were uh, making a video called Knockout Street Fight, where I go ahead and teach the uh, knockout and knockdown techniques that I've used and that other street fighters use to go ahead and just take a person out before the fight starts, how to hit, where to hit. And of course, one of the things we were doing was the, uh, was the hammer fist. We were training the hammer fist, and when we took a break, okay, in the recording, my uh, buddy starts laughing, and he's like, it's funny, okay, with the hammer fist, because his son was in school, and was being picked upon, was being bullied around. So he basically went up to him, he's like, you know, what's wrong, it's here. Not yourself lately. It's like, oh yeah, you know, these guys are picking on me. And I went to the teachers and they're not doing anything. They're telling me to play nice. And so basically his son is getting bullied around every day. And he's like, well, this, you know, this, this shit has got to stop. So what he did is he, uh, he got down on his knees. Okay. My friend. So he was basically the same height as his son. And he uh, made his hand in front of his face like this. Cover up his nose. And he's like, this, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attack you, okay? I'm going to just start pushing you around and picking on you, and you're going to tell me to stop and leave you alone. And if I leave you alone, that's good. And if I don't leave you alone, and if you feel threatened by me, okay, what I want you to do is with your left hand, I want you to grab me on my shirt, and with your right hand, I want you to make a fist, and with the side of the fist, hit me between the eyes. Now, obviously, the thing is, like I said, when, um, when we teach people how to fight, you need to use this... Uh, you can't go ahead and, and, and concentrate upon fine points, okay, like this particular point in your nose. But if I teach you, for instance, to hit between the eyes and a little bit lower, okay, air on the side of lower, you're going to basically crush the, uh, the bridge of the person's nose, okay? But the concept is aim at the point between the eyes. Anyway, so this is what he did. He held his hand like this so he wouldn't get hurt, and he pricked on his son. He's pushing him around, running around his knees, and he's like, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. He's like, no, I'm not going to leave you alone. So he just grabs him, and then he just starts hitting his father, so my friend, where his, his hand was, in between the face, in between the eyes and the face. And this whole thing from the beginning where he asked his son, what's, what's wrong, how come you're not yourself lately, to his son explaining what's going on, to him thinking, what can I teach my son, to him showing him how to do it, to him actually training on it for a couple minutes was maybe 15 minutes, okay? Good. What came out of it? Well, about a week later, <laughs> my friend, okay, my assistant instructor obviously had to go to school and explain the whole thing. He's like, well, your son would beat somebody up. It's like, well, listen, they were picking up for a long time. He didn't do shit to help him, okay? And uh, he was just defending himself. So that thing got taken care of. And please don't make uh, all kinds of comments on my blog or on my YouTube channel about, you're teaching kids how to fight. That's fucked up. Listen, we're teaching people how to defend themselves, okay? If, if those guys are leaving me alone, they want to get in their ass kicked. The point I'm trying to make here today is a technique that is simple. You could learn it from a video. You could learn it in 15 minutes. In this example, this is a little kid. This isn't an adult, okay? 
and this works. Okay, this isn't the kind of thing. Wait a minute, I need to stretch before I do my Tai Bo spinning kicks. No, all it is is it's just standing here, like okay, yo, come leave me alone, leave me alone, bro, whatever. And then when you realize the point, you're not gonna be able to de-escalate. And this is something, of course, that I teach is how to realize where the point is. We have to make a, a preemptive strike. We have to attack because there's no way out. So make sure you're the first person throwing punches in the fight. Just grab the person by his shirt, just start hitting. Like I said, between the eyes. If you aim between the eyes, you're going to end up hitting his nose. And just do it repeatedly, just pulling in and hitting until something happens, until the person falls to the ground, until the person runs away. Like I said, the bottom line is uh, if he had done what normally people do, I'm going to take my kid to the YMCA and they're going to have a self-defense course over a period of several weekends and they're going to teach him how to do how to do a judo throw. His kid would have gotten his ass kicked. First of all, it wouldn't have helped him because he would have continued to be bullied. And second, if he tried to fight, like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do a judo throw, they would have gotten mad and beaten his ass. Okay? If he sent him away to some kind of a uh, kinder karate, child taibo kind of thing where you run back and forth across the room doing this, he would still be getting his ass kicked. Well, he needs to study because he needs a black belt, and that's going to take six to eight to 12 months, and even when he's got his black belt, he's still getting his ass kicked. But like I said, my friend, who is also my uh, assistant instructor, taught him street fighting. And inside of 15 minutes, he was taking out the bully. He got to this level where the next time that somebody picked on him and didn't leave him alone, like I said, very simple movement, just grab right to pull in, and when you're pulling in, Hit. And like I said, this is a very simple thing. Learn it quickly. You know where to hit. You know how to hit. You know how to control your opponent because there's obviously going to be a lot of dynamic movement. So if you move around and I'm holding on to you, I can still aim easily because I'm going anywhere you're going. Okay? I'm pulling you in, hitting against you. A lot of force because you got this collision of your face coming towards me and my fist going forward. <laughs> And like I said, this is what I'm talking about with street fight based self-defense. Simple, nasty, dirty trick. You don't have to be strong, fast, flexible. You don't have to stretch beforehand. And uh, like I said, this is the sort of thing that will save your ass on the street. What happens if you come to me, train with me for one day, leave my training hall, and somebody tries to rape you or mug you or kill you? Okay? My goal is always, if you train with me for... One session, if you just train for me, with me for uh, a morning, and then you go ahead, come, we're gonna take a break in the seminar, you can go get something to eat. If somebody attacks you during, your, during this lunch break, I want you to be able to beat his ass down, okay? If you watch one of my videos once, I want you to be able to beat somebody's ass down. And it's because of this simple, short, brutal training that's gonna be putting you into this situation where you can fight better than if you had studied a martial art for years and years and years. Because like I said, brutal things like this, you haven't learned this in some kinder karate school, or in Tai Bo, or YMCA. And uh, like I said, it's just self-defense, it's just the best way to hurt the person standing in front of you. And this is, in a self-defense situation, in a situation where somebody attacks you, that's the important thing in your mind. Not putting him in an arm lock, and not hurting him, not holding him onto the ground, or throwing him to the ground. The point is, I need to smash this little bastard, or he's going to smash me. Okay? So anyway, I hope I cleared this up a little bit. Like I said, street fighting based self-defense, without training, just understanding the concepts, you can learn this stuff quick, use it immediately, and you will be better suited to defend yourself on the street than somebody who actually went ahead and did study for years. So just think about it, and um, see you next time in the next blog post.